What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Identity 5 video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys two 5 cypher kites from First Officer and Seer. So, I haven't been posting recently due to all the school work I have and well, sometimes it's not just about Identity 5 and we just got to get our lives together, right? So, right here we're at, we are going against the disciple and right now the disciple does find me first so right here since i did spawn at two story i'm gonna just abuse this area as much as possible and as a first officer with his new buff he isn't really that good of a chase at the beginning so from here I just try to create as much distance as possible from the Disciple so that she doesn't have a chance to use her cat and now I'm just breaking line of sight so that she really doesn't have an opportunity to get a cat on me and now right here after vaulting the window for two times I decided to use my first skill and right here she thought that I actually vaulted but I just took the staircase down and I'm going up the staircase again and now this time, I am going to vault. And from here, Dust misses the hit and tries to go for a sneaky blink but didn't work out to the favor of the Disciple because of how unpredictable the pocket watch can be. So from here, does get a cat on me and two ciphers have popped so since my cypher had a little bit of progress, I told my duo, the Enchantress, to go back to second story to work on my cypher while I transition to another area. And so from here, it does get another cat on me but then I use my pocket watch. So she doesn't really know where I am. And from here, I did throw the pallet down but she did hit me through the pallet but at least that got rid of the cat and from here I do know that I am going down so I'm just gonna try to die as far away from ciphers as possible and to the corner of the map so in these next few seconds I am gonna go down and yeah from here I just try to die as far away from ciphers as possible and as you can see, one cypher is at about 44% and the other is about 72 So as long as someone rescues me before half, we should be good to go with 4 people up when the cyphers pop. So Priestess is going to come in for the rescue since she has tight turner. Now the Disciple gets a hit and really good rescue from the Priestess, rescuing before the cats come back. And now Priestess does take the body block. And now from here, I could have taken the roller coaster, but there's one cypher remaining. So what I did was I juked and I went to this corner of the map and tried to last as long as possible until the cypher machine is primed. So from here, the enchantress did ping that the cypher machine is primed. And I get down, they pop, and I am gonna now take the roller coaster so that the end doesn't have a chance to chase me anymore. So now she is forced to teleport to the other gate and from here she does find the prospector and prospector does counter ants so right here he is just gonna try to kite as long as possible and does a really nice magnet over here on the ant and now enchantress tried to sneak up onto the gate to open it but unfortunately and the see the enchantress so yep there's nothing much the enchantress could do and so from here prospector did try to come back to do the gate but it is really not that ideal to chase a prospector so from here the Anne did accept her fate that she is just gonna get a one man and now picks up the enchantress to chair her and from here it is going to be a three man escape now, Priestess is going to call a portal onto Prospector and he is going to make it to the gate. 
so from here it is gonna be three man and it is ggs <laughs> now moving on to the next gameplay i will be playing as seer this time in this match and we are at arms factory going against a smiley face with a team comm of painter seer gravekeeper and enchantress so from here i really did get surprised because smiley face against this meta of seer and painter as well as enchantress who could stun him off his dash given a good distance as well as gravekeeper with a very good rescue opportunity against a smiley face so it is going to be a pretty hard situation for the smiley face and now from here he is going to go to three pallet but unfortunately painter is over here and three pallet is a really tight spot for his dash so he does switch targets and now he did bring quenching effect so now after 50 seconds he did see everyone's location and now he is going to rotate towards me at no man's land so from here my heartbeat is getting really intense so i try to kite towards front gate ruins and now somehow the red light just disappeared and because i still have my heartbeat so my game sense is telling me that he's coming from the back so I go away from front gate ruins and notice that he's dashing for me and when the distance is close enough I put down my owl and from here I am going to transition away from everyone's cypher towards the corner of back gate and he did charge attack me so I didn't really have a choice over here and now I'm just going to try to tight kite him here and I did throw down the pallet to stop his dash and over here he did try to swing at the pallet and now I ended up smacking him which gave me enough time to transition to a better kiting spot and from here I did take the window boost and now he is dashing at me but then he didn't equip any items so there wasn't really much distance he could get out of it from here I did an amazing juke and by now I have a second owl now that he charged to attack me, I just put my owl because I know that his hitbox is going to hit me. And right now he is just going to dash at me and there's nothing much I could do. But now that was a 3 cypher kite and right, right now he's just going to try to chair me. And it really isn't that good of a situation for the smiley face because he is not at max presence yet and the fact that he brought teleport he isn't really in a good position as he really needs to secure that early down with a blink so it would have been different if he did bring blink all right now painter did come for the rescue and does an amazing painting so from here this is why painter is in the meta right now and over here he did get the dash off of me and enchantress is just trying to come here to get guard for endgame and now I did get downed but smiley face did lose track of me and so now getting the dash out of the smiley face the cypher machine has popped and I am gonna take the final kite and so from here I think he was trying to equip something but then the pallet really just broke his momentum. And from here I am really close to charging an owl but from here I tried to vault the pallet but then because I just used two owls so there wasn't really much I could do with all the slow vaulting. And from here I was accepting the fate that okay a three man would be alright but from here you guys are gonna see that gravekeeper is still in his dig and Painter is also coming towards this direction of the chair so I really don't know what was gonna go down at that time and now Painter did get downed and Gravekeeper came for the rescue Smiley Face did dash on me but Tight Turner did come in effect so right here I had the chance to make it to gate 
Or if not, I could just die. And now, this was a mistake that he did. He shouldn't have dashed because that gave me a speed boost. And from here, it's going to be a four-man escape. And thank you guys for watching the video.